Good morning. This is a really great exercise to do if you have a lot of anger um, to transmute it. Now, all of us experience anger. This isn't something that like some people are angry. All of us experience this as women and uh, typically we're told to like stifle it, which results in disease, results in bitterness, results in us having like hot bodies, not externally. <laughs> like our bodies are hot in temperature on internally. So I forget what this is called in Chinese medicine. Um, my sister's told me about this a million times, but like your body can be damp or it can be hot. There's another word for it. Help me out if you're a Chinese herbalist. Um, so anyways, when we store anger, when we don't release it, it's detrimental to our bodies. And it's also like I always talk about in terms of manifesting or just creating a new reality it's taking up space from some miracle that could be entering your body. So this morning I was in my own practice and some stuff came up and I was like, let me transmute this real quick because I don't have time for this to be in my body. <laughs> so you can do this in a million ways. You can transmute anger or big energy through working out, through screaming, through in a, in a appropriate space to do so, so you don't terrify people. Um, there are many, many ways that we can express this, but I love this way because it's very direct. You can do it in the moment. All you need is something soft. You're going to be hitting your hands. Now, I've done this in a bunch of conferences, and some of them we've used tennis rackets on pillows. Some of them we've just used our hands on like a chair. But you want to make sure that whatever you're using is very soft so you don't hurt yourself because once you start going, you're basically going to like amp yourself up with these thoughts. Um, and you're going to get very, very into it and it might, I don't want you to hurt yourself. So you need to use something soft. So I've got a pillow and my mattress here. Um, before I show you, I feel like there's something else I want to say. Um, this is a really important activity for you to have in your toolkit. Like this is something that is just very, very beneficial. So, um, a lot of us, like, I don't, uh, I feel like maybe this is a woman thing, but maybe it's just a me thing. I don't know. I don't have like violent, violent thoughts. I'm not like, I'm going to beat the shit out of them. Like that's not really a thought that I think. I think masculine energy might feel that way more like with physical violence, like either in a protective manner or maybe not. Um, and there's no judgment towards it. These are natural primal tendencies that we have that we need to work out in a healthy way so that we don't take it out on someone else and then physically beat the shit out of someone or punch your hand through the wall. Or as a woman, this might be done a little bit more passively. It might be something um, that's not so physical, but is more so like in subtle ways. But also I think just as feminine energy, I think that we hold on to things and then we're up. All of us do this, but I'm just kind of like separating when there doesn't really need to be separation, I guess. So um, I want you to recognize though that your thoughts are violent, even if they're not physical. If you're thinking something, like it is a spell and it is, do you want this to manifest? Do you want this to manifest? In your mind, if you're saying, if you're talking shit about somebody in your mind, whether you think they deserve it or not, or whatever the case may be, oh, it's 444 on the clock. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter if you think they deserve it or not. The thoughts are violent and that's affecting you. Everything comes back to you. My dad always says WGACA, what goes around comes around. He always like, we use this acronym in our family. <laughs> so if you... something just fell in the other room that scared me. Um, maybe there's a spirit in there that's like, let's get angry. <laughs> so anyways, what you're emitting in your thoughts is going to be created. So think about if this is harmful to you. It might be harmful to others, but it will be harmful to you. So without further ado, here's the practice. So like I said, don't judge the apparel today. This is literally my morning practice from when I woke up. I was working through my own stuff and this is what I did. And I was like, this is a great teaching moment. So pillow, mattress, what you're going to do, start thinking about what you're upset about. Um, lift your arms up. Now you can imagine anything that you want to imagine. You could imagine like something very violent with this motion, right? Or you could imagine, like I want you to think about who you're hitting. What are you hitting? So for example, right now I could be like, I'm so pissed at the people 
who have not been standing up in their power and are letting things happen in the government and their leaders who are not doing their job. They're not in service. They're in service to themselves and profit. Now, you can see this is kind of like lackluster because, yeah, I'm not about that. But it's like when there's something really deep, say someone's cheating on you, like insert all the profanity you want. Okay, just an example. That's like an easy one um, that you might be very, very mad at. Now, this is a workout in itself. Okay, so I was already doing this. I'm like sweaty from doing it earlier, but you get the idea. Think about something that you're upset about. Vent it out on your pillow. Thanks for being my guinea pig. And then afterwards, sit in stillness. Acknowledge yourself. I'm proud of myself for releasing this anger in a healthy way. I'm proud of myself for transmuting this. Um, what did I write down? I am making room for my truest self when I release my old pain. I am making room for my truest self when I release my old pain. This is something to be proud of. This is a new pattern. Instead of storing the pain, I'm going to release it in a healthy way where no one gets hurt. But then I always teach with manifestation. Um, when you release anything, if you pour water out of a cup, something will, this is kind of a weird example. It will always be filled. That space will always be filled. So what are you going to fill it with? That's why I suggest using an affirmation. I value myself. I'm proud of myself for transmuting this in a healthy way. I love myself. I am proud of myself. Um, anything that's going to fill that space that is not going to be the same vibration of what you released here. I trust that my judgment will be better in the future. I trust that, or what, you know, whatever it might be. I trust that I'm going to become the leader that can change things. I trust that filling yourself with something of a higher vibration than whatever you released. Let me know in the comments if you've done this before, if you have other suggestions for transmuting anger. I'm posting this today also because we're still in the full moon energy. Um, and if you watch, if you're in the Tantric Oracle, if you watch the energy update yesterday, or if you're in the Open Mind Society, you also have access to that. Um, you'll see that there's two sides of what's going on here. There's this big expansion, but there's also this like rage and anger vibe. So this is going to be a great tool for you to use. Okay, I'm going to go take a shower. Have a great rest of your day, you guys. Let me know if you like this exercise, if you do it. Um, and after you try it, what you experience, okay? Have a great rest of your day. Also, Divinely Fund, it is on early bird, extra, extra early bird sale um, until the 24th. I, I'm not sure what day that is, but until the 24th, you can get it for the cheapest price that it's ever going to be. This is an epic program. It combines all of my work in one place. It's truly phenomenal. It's led by Goddess Hathor and a couple of other goddesses um, who have completely guided me in how I'm creating this. It's a really beautiful experience. A couple of you guys have already joined and I'm so excited to have you. Um, also, if you want to refer anyone to this, if you tell them to let me know that they got you in, that they signed you up, that they referred you, I'm going to send you $222 as an affiliate fee so um, or an affiliate payout. So if you know anyone that you think would be a really great fit for this, send them um, to the landing page. Just at the link in my bio and let them have them tell you, have them tell me that they, that you sent them. <laughs> You get it. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> Afterwards, make sure that you sage your pillow or you can put selenite on it or like clear quartz or something and just mentally cleanse the energy. So if you sit on it, you're not sitting on that like poisonous energy. 